So first and foremost, you're looking at cleanliness. So the trains and the stations are cleaned and sanitized every day and uh, before passengers embark and after passengers disembark. Um, another thing about under cleanliness is as well is we ask our passengers to practice good hand hygiene. So before they get into the terminus, both the Mombasa and Nairobi terminus, they're required to wash their hands. Um, that is before they get screened. So we do the screening with a uh, with the infrared thermometer. And anyone who uh, has a temperature of approximately 37.5 degrees will be taken to an isolated area within the terminus and then finally to an isolated coach that is at the end of each train. Um, in addition to that, we also have the physical distancing of 1.5 meters. That's within the train and also within the terminus. Um, another thing is that all our passenger service uh, attendants and actually anyone who's fa customer facing is required to wear PPE. And for the passengers, they have to wear a mask properly covering both your nose and your mouth. So have you had to isolate anyone, passengers? So far, there was one passenger um, that was towards the end of July. And uh, once they, luckily, once they arrived at their destination, we checked their temperature again, and their temperature was below the mark. However, the information was given to the COVID-19 task force and also forwarded to um, health officials. The government is asking Kenyans to uh, do a bit of domestic tourism to see their country. Are you seeing an increased uh, traffic of people on the trains? First of all, I'm, I'm glad to say that the demand for passenger services is still high. So of the avail available 1,088 seats, that is 544 per train, we are at 95% capacity. And from the 13th of July, we've transported 23,000, over 23,000 passengers since the, the resumption. So those are really good numbers um, for domestic tourism as well as other reasons for traveling. Okay, thank you, Olivia. Now. To Mr. Kimutai, what kind of measures, safety measures, have you had? To, have your members, the Matatu operators, had to make uh, to ensure journeys are safe? Well, uh, there were recommendations by the Ministry of Health, and some protocols were issued, and that is what we are adhering to. We are making sure that uh, uh, passengers boarding vehicles, uh, their temperatures are checked, and they put on uh, the recommended uh, uh, masks. And uh, they have to keep their masks in the position of covering the mouth and the, the nose all the 